star drive and time dilatation. When a spaceship moves fast through space, time dilatation takes place. Time appears to pass slower. So what goes on? The spin of baryons, this spin, depends on the gravitons it uh, interacts with. Normally, the gravitons coming from this side or that side against the rotation have no influence because they just bounce through. But the gravitons coming with the rotation, they uh, decide the speed of the baryon, of the rotation of it, the spin of it. So the spin uh, slows down when the spaceship goes faster. Say a spaceship goes half the speed of light and the gravitons hit it with uh, two times the speed of light, then it would result in a spin of about one and a half times the speed of light instead of the normal two times the speed of light. This makes the baryon uh, spin slower. And when they spin slower, all chemical, nuclear, physical, and electrical processes slow down. This makes it appear time has slowed down or even came to a standstill, hence the name time dilatation. And there's more to it though. When spinning slower, many protons, having one sticking out, um, turn into neutrons because the centripetal force is less, so it pulled back in. In case of a satellite, it becomes even more complicated. Time dilatation not only depends on the speed it flies through the liquid grid, also the distance to planets is a factor. When hurtling molecules down to our, towards our planet, the gravitons speed up, and action is minus reaction. And fast gravitons means messing with the spin of quarks, hence messing with time again. This is why we also notice time dilatation close to planets.